I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a piano that we just finished um, with uh, the refurbishing of it. This is a 1968 Baldwin, which Baldwins are awesome from this era. They, uh, they were a really big name in pianos. Um, well, during this era, going, but going way back, going back to the, the, to the early um, 20th century um, and probably probably well into the 19th century as well. They, uh, they kind of started to go downhill in, in quality by um, maybe about 1990 or so, maybe, maybe early 90s. Um, I've, I've worked on a lot of Baldwins in the 80s that were still, that were still really, really good. Um, and, then, and then by, by 1999, they had gone bankrupt and they, and they were sold to Gibson Guitars in Nashville, which is, I believe, the owner today. <clears throat> but this this era, 1968, this is when Baldwin was really still something <clears throat> quite special. So uh, this piano was actually intended to be um, my own personal piano for um, my kids. I know this is crazy for my kids' treehouse. <laughs> we that we because every treehouse needs a every piano. Treehouse needs a piano. We were building. We built a treehouse. Um, <laughs> in our backyard that was like fully enclosed and like you know with bunk beds and everything super cool tree house you know all insulated and everything but then the city came and said nope <laughs> gotta take it down so it was very sad so i i really like this piano that was that was the idea i really like this piano i was planning on hoisting it up there into the tree house um I actually had this piano in my garage along with a number of other pieces of furniture that was supposed to be for the treehouse, but then the city had to ruin the fun. So <laughs> here's the this piano. Um, I really like it in, in large part because it's because these these things are built like tanks. Um, so I thought it'd be the perfect piano for the kids' treehouse. Um, and, and I just like the I like the touch on it. I like the tone. As a technician, like they never they never seem to um, have issues. They're just like problem free. So I really really like. I, and I've worked on I've worked on tons of these pianos both in people's homes, as well as in like schools and churches where they're super heavily abused, um, and they can take it. They can take the abuse from like junior high kids and and kids that you know roving bands of children in, in churches that like to destroy stuff. Um, these, these pianos can, can take the beating. So um, that said, we've, we've gone through and refurbished everything on the inside so it's clean, it's everything, all the action is tightened, lubricated, everything's aligned, hammers are reshaped, everything's properly regulated, so everything's just functioning perfectly. The, the goal is to make it function like it's brand new and, and we're um, we're really good at, at doing just that. We've done this on literally like thousands of pianos. So we're, um, I think at this point, we know what we're doing. Um, and then of course we, we refinished it as well. So it was originally like a, a walnut color. Maybe the, maybe the color of the lid. black I just think it looks good it's more more contemporary I suppose so let's let's hear it Wise, it sounds, it sounds like a, a piano that's that's much bigger than than what it is. This is 45 inches, which um, which I think this one sounds more like it's 
maybe like 48 inches. Like if I had a blindfold on, um, I might I might say, yeah, it's got to be a 48 inch piano. So that's the, that's the Baldwin 1968. It's in great shape. This piano's gonna last forever. Um, there is no question in my mind. Just having seen so many of these and seeing how they've been abused in all of these locations that I mentioned a few minutes ago, and knowing and actually, I used to I used to tune all the pianos in in East Provo for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, which they had like it's like 150 pianos that I was responsible for, and they had a lot a lot of this particular model. They had lots of different models, but um, in lots of different brands that they had accumulated, different eras, different um, manufacturers. But this particular model, they, they bought quite a few of. And I always knew, every year, when I came back to this one, it, it was going to be right on. And I, I, um, they had me come every six months. So all 150 pianos or so, I saw them, what, about 20 times each in that 10-year 10, 10 period. And, and I quickly learned um, which, which are the ones that are consistent and which ones um, are, have tuning stability issues or, or have, have, um, are, are more maintenance intense. And, and I, think, I think in the 10 years that I, that I serviced those pianos, the 45-inch the Baldwin's were like virtually maintenance-free that whole time. So that's, that's, why I say, that's why I say they're workhorse pianos. Um, you can uh, schedule an appointment with me at, uh, at the website. Um, BrighamLarsonPianos.com or you can just stop in. We're open 10 to 6 Monday through Saturday at 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.